successful incarnation to deliver the fallen souls of Kali Yuga. Principal amongst his associates are Lord Nityananda, who was none other than Lord Balarama, the incarnation of Ananta Sesha. Even though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu distributed the love of Godhead freely to anyone willing to partake, Lord Nityananda was more merciful and he gave his mercy even to unwilling, sinful and atheistic people. Once, on the instruction of the Lord, both Lord Nityananda and Haridas Thakur went door to door on the streets of Navadripa, giving the nectar of the holy name to whoever they were. Merciful to these two fallen souls, 
for if they are delivered from their sinful ways, then the good day of Lord Chaitanya will be still more glorified. Hey, here, Jagai, look at this old man. <laughs> Come on, Madai, let's do him in. <laughs> yeah, I break, break his neck. My dear friends, please chant the holy name of Krishna and give up your sinful life. Ah, what? Why still us? <laughs> Tui, you are the scum of the earth. Ah, come on, Madai. Let's teach these fools a lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come here, you too. The essence of all Vedic knowledge is included in the eight syllables Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. This is the reality of all Vedanta. The chanting of holy names is the only way to cross the oceans of the science and is the chief means of attaining love of Godhead. By humility and meekness, one attracts the attention of Krishna. Therefore, if one becomes very humble and meek, he can easily attain the lotus feet of Krishna in this age of Kali. In this way, whatever one does in executing devotional service must be accompanied with the chanting of holy names of the Lord. Nityananda Prabhu, Haridas, what is the news of today's preaching work? My dear Lord, by your unlimited mercy, many fallen souls were delivered. Jai, Jai Haribol! But there were two sinful rogues who would not listen to us. Somehow or other, they avoided your mercy, my Lord. Yes, dear Lord. These men were two demonic brothers named Jagan and Madan. When we asked them to chant, they simply attacked us with filthy languages and then chased us for miles. By Krishna's grace, we narrowly escaped. But they would have killed us had we been caught. It is a great misfortune that they could not be given the mercy. My dear devotees, I am very pleased that you have tried to deliver such a degraded pair of fellows. Actually, I know of those two brothers, Jagai and Madai. Formerly, they were good young boys named Jagannath and Madhava, born in a respective Brahmana family. But due to bad association, they have become meat eaters, woman hunters, and sinners of worst kind. But do not be downhearted. If at first you don't success, then try again. Somehow, one or other, they may be delivered. For everything is possible by the grace of Krishna. Yes, we will go to them again tomorrow and preach to them. By your mercy, they will be delivered. Destroy you for this. 
with it, my Lord. Your mission is not to kill, but to deliver such rascal as this. If you kill these two rogues, then you must as well kill all the people of this age, for they are all practically as fallen as these two. Please be merciful to them, I beg you. All right, I will spare you, but in one condition only, you must solemnly promise that from this moment onward, you will give up all your sinful habit and take up the chanting of Krishna's holy names as your only shelter. Oh yes, my lord, I will do anything you ask. Anything. I will turn over a new leaf. I promise, my lord. Come now, my dear friends. Do not fear. Although you were the most fallen by the mercy of Lord Nityananda, he has now become the most fortunate. Oh, thank you, my Lord. Thank you. Dear Lord Gauranga, you are so kind to the Kali Yuga living entities. For although everyone is so sinful in this age, you are freely giving them highest benediction. Pure loving service to Krishna, to anyone who simply takes shelter of your lotus feet. Let's chant the holy names right now. Master and we, his eternal servitor. Hare Krishna. 